Hey guys, if you're watching this, you've probably identified a work on in your catch pass, whether it be that catch early, that transition to load to hip, or the finish with a punch and point. For a lot of these techniques, we're going to start in that load to hip position. So just make sure that we've got uh, the ball at the high hip bone, not below. We don't want that swing in there, so we want that punch action, okay? So make sure we've got that bend in the elbow, we've got our chest slightly tilted forward, and we've got that bicep over the ball. We can do that by gently just rotating the ball slightly, and that's bringing that arm forward. Start in the load to hip position using a resistance band. Now be really strict on the constraints. Elbow bent, bicep over ball. The hands should naturally be pulled to the desired shoulder height position. We can then progress by taking the inside foot up, and rotating our torso towards the target. Now it's always good to try the opposite foot for a few reps. It's not the ideal position we want to execute the pass, but it's good to train for the less than ideal situations. We can then go and repeat all that sequence, but instead of being pulled by the resistance band, we are now working against it, shooting our hands towards the target. The resistance bands are brilliant to use as primers to help focus your technique. So now we're working our guide arm, and much like a frisbee throw, it's a direct point to our target, okay? Sit at a belly button height, feet elbow, slight lean over forward, and then I point directly at the target at shoulder height. Again, be really strict with the constraints here, ensuring that the tennis ball is at belly button level. So now we move on to the power arm. Again, be strict with the constraints here. We're taking the tennis ball to the inside hip. We don't want it dipping lower. We want it shooting straight to the target. Good chance to start focusing on those cues. Rotating the torso, parallel arms at shoulder height with palms down. Just finish off the reps with a couple on the outside foot. Now go on to the pistol drill where you set the ball high in the hip. Make sure you've got a bend in the elbow with that bicep over ball. We want to avoid any swing back or swing low motion. So we want to punch action to fully extend to be at that shoulder height with palm down. Progress to the side pistol. Again, be really particular about those low to hip constraints. Focus on rotating that torso and punching that power arm to meet the guide hand. The natural progression is the side pass with two hands. You may even want to include the catch early snapping rotation into that load to hip position with this drill. So if you find that you're having a problem at the load to hip area and the ball is dipping down below the hips, creating a swing motion, this is a really good constraint. I'm on my knees and I'm over top of the ball in that load to hip position and the constraints are stopping me from swinging it. So it's forcing me to finish true. So I'm shooting my hands directly to the target. Again, this could be used with that catch early snapping rotation into load to hip, depending on your work on cue. Standing on that outside leg, you don't have to balance and really bring your core strength into the past. Now to ensure the right muscles are being used, tilt forward slightly and as you rotate your torso to the target, keep your foot firmly in the same position. It's going to keep your hips nice and square and really engage your core muscles. The advanced drill is having two knees on the Swiss ball, but don't sacrifice your technique for the outcome. So the most common problem area would be that quick transition from that load to hit to punch and point. Not creating a swing down or the swing in front. So many of what we've done has already tried to correct that fault and try and get the right muscles firing. Now, if the test shows that you're performing in that area, and in fact it's your catch early load to hit transition that needs work on, then you can simply use many of the two-handed passing drills that we've been doing. So as I step, I'm catching early and quickly load to the hip, all on that same leg there. So I hope you enjoy the technical sessions and keep up the great work, guys.